Welcome back. I'm Carrie with Educating, keeping you on the cutting edge of education. Our topic today is progress monitoring. I wanted to show you a way that we are dealing with progress monitoring so that the data we are collecting is meaningful and easily used and easily um, shared with other people. And uh, we came up with a great way to do that this year, and I wanted to uh, really help you all with figuring out how to deal with that data. Remember, if you are uh, excited about education like we are, and you want more of our tips and helpful videos, please make sure you like and subscribe below. Let's jump into progress monitoring. At this point in the school year, at the end of the first semester, this is when we have finished usually our first round of our Tier 3 progress monitoring, and it is time to meet with all of our parents to discuss their child's progress. In previous years, we've had the issue of that data that the teacher has been collecting over these six or eight weeks of the response to intervention, progress monitoring, and the work samples, getting that data in a way that is presentable to parents. What I mean by presentable is that they understand where we're coming from. A lot of parents hear uh, your child's in the response to intervention process, RTI, uh, Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3 interventions, and they really they, I feel that they are overwhelmed sometimes in those parent meetings. And so I really wanted to make that final Tier 3 meeting something that was meaningful to them. And to have the data that we have collected over six or eight weeks to really be something that is understandable, easy to read, uh, professional looking, so it looks like we know what we're doing. And in previous years, that data collection took a, a, a good bit of time for us in the office to be able to present in a, a quality way because to hand make uh, line graphs for every child in Tier 3 really is an undertaking when it comes to the data. And it, it requires the teachers to get that information to us ahead of time and for us to put that data into a spreadsheet or a line graph uh, to be able to get it in, into a format that is really useful at that final Tier 3 meeting. This year we've decided to use a program called Google Sheets and a, a Google extension called Row Call to really help us get that data uh, in a presentable way for the parents. I have previously written an article on our educating.com blog page related to RTI, progress monitoring, different things that we've done. And one of the things that I've mentioned is using these Google, Google Sheets for our progress monitoring. And I just know that the best way uh, to show somebody how to uh, use this useful tool was to show you how to use it and not just tell you how to use it. So um, I'm getting ready to show you my computer. I'm going to explain step by step how to use Google Sheets, how to share them with your teachers, also how to use the Google extension Row Call, how to download that extension, and um, how to quickly make some quality graphs for that final Tier 3 a parent meeting to be able to help those kids who are really going through this progress monitoring, uh, the RTI process, so I know that you'll be able to help your parents understand all the great data that you're collecting over these six to eight weeks of RTI. So when you first log in to Google, there is this icon right here. They call it the waffle in the training, and this is a, all, the access that you have to all of your apps. So you would select Google Sheets. That's the icon right there. And when you open Google Sheets, uh, this is what your dashboard will look like. When you create your very first one, you will click on this icon here to create your very first one. You can see that we have fifth grade progress monitoring here. 
uh, what we do every year at the beginning of the school year is create a Google Sheet for fifth grade, fourth grade, every single grade level. Uh, specifically, this grade level's progress monitoring sheet is for math. So at the beginning of the year, we have um, blank sheets where it just has the student's name and the date of all of the Fridays for the entire uh, school year. This is just a sample that I've created. But when we start the year off, we share this with all of the teachers that teach fifth grade math so that they will be able to access this sheet and enter their weekly progress monitoring scores uh, on this sheet. They have access to it anywhere that they have internet. We have access to it in the office to be able to uh, track a child's progress as they go throughout the response to intervention process. What we are able to do is watch the teacher enter these um, data points. And also, this helps us in case a teacher is falling behind and getting her data entered, would be able to pull this up on Monday and say, hey, Miss Smith, you haven't entered your progress monitoring data yet. And so that is also a, a checks and balances for making sure that our progress monitoring is, is up to date. So when we are getting ready to have our Tier 3 meeting with our parents to be able to discuss a child's progress, uh, showing them these data points that it, it's good, but sometimes you want to be able to have a great line graph to show exactly what's going on with that child's progress. And so we use a Google extension called Rocall, uh, Rocall, R-O-W-C-A-L-L, -L, uh, is the extension that we're going to use. To get an extension, you click on this button here that says Add-ons, and then you would go to Manage Add-ons, and you could search for Rocall in here and you'd be able to add it to your uh, Google Sheets from this, this place here, just clicking on that icon. But we already have it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Add-ons, go to Row Call, and click Start. Now the point of using Row Call is for us to get individual students' data on their own Google Sheet without having to recreate these Google Sheets every single time. And so if you watch down here at the bottom, once we select that we want this Google Sheet sorted by students, you'll see each student gets their own Google, Google Sheet created at the bottom of the singular one. And so then I'm able to click on a child's Google Sheet. It has all of their data in it. And yes, sometimes looking at just numbers is a useful thing, but more often than not, you will want to create a chart using this data. This icon here, you just click on it, and it creates the line chart for you. You have the student's name, you have the dates, you have everything there. If you don't like this type of chart here, you can select different types of charts. But what we're using is a line chart, which is really the best part for uh, our progress monitoring and what we're going to be using it for. And so here's Eliza, and you can see that, you know, she's really sort of flatlined. She's not increasing. She's not, she's not moving around. She's not, she's not doing poorly. But this would be an opportunity for us to speak to the teacher about uh, challenging Eliza a little, a little bit more. Because uh, she needs to, she's flatlined and she needs a little more help. So let's look at another student. Here's Robbie. Again, you would go up here, insert chart. It creates Robbie's chart. And look at how well Robbie's doing. He's definitely moving up. But also, you can see that his highest score is below a 50. So really, Robbie is doing great. He's moving forward. He's, he's um, moving up. He's improving. But we can also see from this data that this is something that uh, Robbie still needs some work because his best score is a 50. 
I think that using these Google Sheets and the row call add-on really helps us under, be able to look at those numbers and see them and what they truly mean with a child's progress. So another aspect of having all of your information on a Google Sheet is if I have the entire fifth grade listed on here, then I can see with a, with, by a glance how long this child has been in the RTI process. You can see Sam here, his first progress mo monitoring was October 2nd. But then you can see here with the way that we do our data, here's Raj, and you can see he did not start his progress monitoring until October 30th. And it, we put these two asterisks here to let to signal for me to know that this this child's parent meeting was on the in the week of October 23rd and that his progress monitoring should start the next week. So it's not that the teacher forgot to enter the data that's here, it's that the data should have started the week after the asterisk. And so that's how we sort of organize our information. And so on Mondays we're able to look at uh, each Google Sheet for each grade level and subject area to really see how well our students are doing and it really makes it an easy way for us to access this information on a regular basis. I hope my video today helped you uh, come up with a better way to organize your progress monitoring data, uh, create those line graphs that are going to be more useful in those final tier three parent meetings so that you have a better way to discuss each child's progress during this RTI response to intervention process. Here at Educating, we are always here to help you with staying on the cutting edge of education. I hope that this video is helpful and that all of our videos are something that you find as a great resource. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications when we post new videos. And I hope you have a great day.